Out goes this man, in comes this other man. You may remember him, ye of this particular statement. I'd rather die than resign. So let me set the stage for you. He once left the political scene a broken man, vowing that he'd rather die than resign. Emus Muhinga Kimunya resigned and never died, except politically he was condemned to the graveyard for an entire parliamentary term. But the Kipipiri member of parliament has now seemingly completed his comeback to the big stage, taking over the powerful position of leader of majority from Aidan Duale. Here's Amos Kimunya's story with Enoch Sikolia. Amos Kimunya built his profile as finance minister and member of the inner circle of former president Mwai Kibaki's government. All was going on well for the blue-eyed boy of the Kibaki administration until a scandal around the cell of the Lyco Regency struck like lightning. I find it rather strange that we are saying investigate on one hand and then said, we have already condemned you anyway, you are not fit to hold public office. In a parliament teeming with energy, Amos Kimunya was a dead man walking. A motion of no confidence made short work of a man, then ranked one of the most powerful. To stop corruption at the treasury, Kimunya must to go. <laughs> to end impunity in this country, Kimunya must to go. Perhaps deceived by the atmosphere of power around him at the time, Kimunya fought off resignation calls, hoping President Kibaki would not let him hang. One thing I'm not prepared to do, and I will not do, I will not resign. I would rather die than resign. Kimunya was to swallow his words. Rather than die, he resigned. He returned to cabinet in 2009, but was once again dogged by controversy. Why is it that in all the ministries, Honorable Kimunya is going, there are issues. Wherever he was in the Ministry of Lands, he is quoted having said title deeds are pieces of paper. Kimunya survived a potential second motion of no confidence and only through an amendment of the motion by nominated MP Rachel Shebesh. Let it not be that because you cannot deal with Amos Kimunya politically, you come here to the floor of the house and use 210 members to, to help you deal with Amos Kimunya. Body blows sustained in Nairobi appeared to have weakened Kimunya in Kipipiri where he suffered an embarrassing defeat in the parliamentary race, losing the seat to a former ally. A bitter Kimunya turned to the social media, ranting against those he termed thankless constituents. He wrote an odd letter to the returning officer in which he accused residents of Kipipiri of failing to appreciate his 10 years development record. The returning officer read the letter publicly after announcing Kimunya's defeat. <sighs> Kimunya's life in the political wilderness include a corruption court case for land fraud. He was also summoned by parliament over the standard gauge railway controversy. For Amos Kimunya, the journey back from the dead began in 2017 when he regained the Kipipiri parliamentary seat. But Kimunya retained the appearance of a dejected politician. He maintained a low profile, saying little in parliament and making very rare public appearances. He was recently cleared of the land fraud case and the appointment as majority leader completes an unlikely comeback to the front benches he once left in infamy. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV.